Hi there. <coughs> uh, Vlogtober day 18 and I've been a busy girl today which is why the vlog is somewhat late. Um, lots of things have happened today. Uh, first of all, all uh, Crow went into um, the vets this morning. Uh, a lot of you will know she's got a gammy leg. Previously she was diagnosed with osteoarthritis but um, we've had a new vet open up just up the road and rather than drag her all into town uh, and stress her out I thought I'd just pop her into there and, um, because it seems to seem to be getting worse and he said he doesn't think it's osteoarthritis he said it's, it would be giving her pain by now if it was uh, he thinks it's nerve damage uh, which is non-repairable, irreversible without major surgery and he said at 14 he wouldn't even consider giving her surgery because she's not in any pain. So um, basically the uh, the checkup was, uh, oh, the, the result of the checkup was leave her to it unless she starts to have any discomfort or problems with it um, or it starts to affect her in any way in which case uh, he would probably recommend amputating the leg uh, just to make it a bit easier for her. But he said she was uh, had adapted completely to it, which she has. She she limps when she walks, but she hops around like a bunny most of the time. Um, he said she's she seems to be absolutely fine in herself. She's a very happy cat. She's got the teeth of a seven-year-old, despite being 14. Uh, and overall, he was very pleased with her health. Uh, he thought she could put on a little bit more weight, um, but I knew that already. Um, she lost a lot of weight after crow after bear died, so I've been feeding her up. Uh, then, so that's good news. Uh, no, no, nothing dire for Miss Crow. She's fine. Um, I've booked Maddie and Gypsy in for tomorrow. Maddie's got just a minor thing that she needs sorting out, and Gypsy is going for a microcheck, microchip, sorry, and check up, uh, have her, her hips felt just to make she's sure she's okay. And I'm going to get a blood test done as well while I'm at it. Um, so she's going in for that because I just signed the adoption papers today. Gypsy is officially uh, a pirate gypsy of Romany's realm. So uh, that's that sorted. <sighs> she's staying. So thank you very, 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 very much to everybody who has purchased Whimsical Workspaces and um, you know, contributed towards the adoption fee because, you know, the, the, although I can afford a dog, no problem, the initial expense of the adoption fee and all their equipment and the toys and getting them checked and getting them chipped and getting them insured and everything else is, you know, by the time you add it up, it's a thousand plus pounds. So, yeah, quite expensive adopting a dog, uh, but definitely worth it. So, yeah, that's all sorted out. Um, I went into town afterwards because, stupid me, um, the girls have got to go for a checkup at four tomorrow. So I thought, well, instead of going into town tomorrow morning and then having to rush back, I'll go into town today, having brought Crow home because she didn't need an x-ray after all. So I went and did all the things that I needed to do today, forgetting that I have to go into town anyway tomorrow, and that's why I was going in tomorrow. Yeah, I have an appointment in town at 11 o'clock tomorrow anyway. Really annoying. <laughs> so I've got to go out, uh, pop into town in the morning, and then I've got to... Oh, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> um, I've got to take the dogs to the vet and another busy day tomorrow. Uh, and I, uh, you know, I've wasted a day today because I didn't really need to go today. I could have done everything tomorrow. So, that was fun, but my studio looks awesome. Let me show you. We'll start over here at the desk. Uh, it's a little bit messy because I've been working again. Uh, and I've got some rubbish and things to put away, but whatever. That's, that hasn't changed very much, but look what I've done. ba -da! Oh, you're impressed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me start from the door. Okay. Improvements today. I have put a clock up. Pink clock up on the wall. Um, the reason it's behind me is because I don't want to constantly be clock watching. 
but it's useful to know what the time is in here when I don't have my computer on. I have purchased a laundry basket in pink to put all my paper in. I'm going to move that in a minute. I've added another uh, cauldron here. So I've got one for rubbish, one for paper. This will get emptied in a minute into my... It's just a laundry basket. It's just a pop-up laundry basket. So, But it's sprung, so it's hard for the cat to get into. She's not going to get in there and wee or whatever. Miss Maddie is taking up the new puppy bed because Gypsy doesn't like coming in here because she lies on the floor. She didn't have a comfy corner, but... Um, she decided she'd rather go back in the bedroom, so now Miss Maddie has a really warm, comfy bed. But I'm sure Miss, Miss, Mad, Miss Gypsy will come through in a minute, eventually. She's just got to get used to it. Uh, Crow was actually lying here with Maddie earlier, so... I've put up new nets. Look at this. Pink nets. How cool are they? Um, I wasn't intending to buy so many things, but these were on special offer. Uh, everything I bought, the, all the pink stuff, was on, um, if you bought three, you got one free. So, the cheapest one free. So I bought the clock, I bought the laundry bin, I bought two panels, I bought two table lamps, and I got the two table lamps for three. So, cost me a lot less than I thought it was going to. I've got my two little pink lamps there. They're not amazing you know they're only cheap little plastic things with paper lampshades haven't got any bulbs in yet because I bought the wrong bulbs uh, but they give they'll give off enough light for me just you know sitting here in the evening when I'm art journaling I found a puppy bed in bright pink which was was 11 pounds it was on half price and it's massive look both the dogs can get on there and the cat so that's nice for them, right by the radiator, where it's nice and cosy. These curtains are great because they're net, so I can see out. And during the day, I can pull them back and get daylight. But at night, I've got a little bit of privacy. Um, there's not, not really anybody opposite um, that can see in, so I'm not bothered. It's not like I'm in here dancing nude or something, you know. <laughs> um... I have fixed some hooks down here. These little hooks. My paper towels will fit on there. It's just going to hook through here. Uh, but you've got to leave them for 24 hours before you can hang anything on them because they don't stick otherwise. So I'm going to wait for that. And I put this up in the corner here. Uh, this was just a, a hold all, like a back of the door shoe hanger. Um, but in here I've put all my dangerous items. So Things like my surgical spirit, my glues, my aerosols, my fixatives, my medicines. I've got my allergy tablets and headache tablets in here, that sort of thing. Um, well out of reach of mischievous puppies and nosy kitties. So I feel a lot better now that they're safely up there. Gypsy could reach them if she really tried, but I don't think she's going to bother. She's not that kind of dog. <laughs> um... I also bought myself a new cup. <laughs> this cup is going in the bin. <laughs> and this cup is new. Uh, it doesn't fall over. It doesn't wobble. It's got a handle. And it's more airtight than the other one was. Um, it's also thermal. So it keeps my head drink hot instead of just being a cup holder. <sighs> so that feels so much better. Check it out. All oh, the pink is really bright and cheery. Uh, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with it. Um, one of the things I'm going to do tomorrow is sort out my inspiration board. And put some art on the walls. And I've got to find the other shelf. I've got two of these shelves somewhere. This is one of them. It goes up on the wall like that quite a nice little shelf uh, but it's a speaker shelf it's specifically for these little speakers so I'm going to put my speakers up on the wall there um, I found these I couldn't find any plastic wallets I'm going to have another look since I've got to go into town tomorrow again um, but I found these and I had a push 
these will do. I've got quite a few of these um, and I can fix them onto there and they'll look okay, you know, they'll, they're the same colour pink. Um, so at a push I can use those but I'm not going to fix them up just now because um, because, 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 da 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 ba ba da ba 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 yeah, I might have had too much coffee. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to fix them up just yet, because I've got to go into town again anyway tomorrow, so I might as well um, wait and just have another look and see if they've got some in, in Ryman's. I found these, aren't these cute? Aren't they just adorable? I found them in Pound Stretcher. I've got a little, I think he's supposed to be a reindeer. Yes, he's got antlers, look. A little reindeer. And a little Santa with a candy cane. And reindeer's got a Christmas tree. And a snowman with a, a nice woolly scarf and a carroty nose. Uh, I got them for the girls for Christmas. Um, and it was really funny because I bought two of one design. Like these two are swirly and red bottoms, and these this one is slightly different. Um, and the woman at the till, when I took them up, said, Two boys and a girl, or two girls and a boy. And I went, No, two cats, two dogs and a cat. <laughs> she just looked at me like I was balmy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I thought that'd be cool for the, for the animals for Christmas. I, like, I always get them something for Christmas. They're my kids. Um, I got that for, it's a singing fire engine. I want to take it out of the wrapper and see how it works. I got that for one of my goddaughters. Um, I also got a big version of this Yankee candle. Let me see if I can unwrap it one-handed. Look at this. Oh, this is the same one that I got before. It's the patchouli one. Um, it's supposed to be £20. It was 15 because it's on 25% off still. Uh, but these are limited edition ones. They're really hard to get once they stop doing them. So I figured I would treat myself for the £15 because you get like 90 hours of burning. Um, and it's got... Look at, the, look at the front. It's black glass and it's got crazy skull on the front. <laughs> it's called Witch's Brew. It's um, patchouli spice and it's absolutely divine. And oh, a little thing. I bought I bought Crow a new collar uh, in pink because she's a pink girl. Uh, and they had this black one exactly the same and this is what I would have bought for Bear if he was still with us. And it's so pretty. Look at that. It's like Maddie's. It really sparkles. It's lovely. Um... They're only a couple of pounds. They're really nice, they're ankle collars, so they're good quality. Uh, and I think it's actually leather. Um, I will probably take the bell off, because the bell is slightly annoying. But I thought I would uh, have it and wear it as a bracelet. Um, just as a, a memory of Bear. I was going to make one, but then I thought, no. I, I saw this and I thought, well, if he was still here, this is what I would have bought him. To go with, you know, Crow's sparkly pink one. So all of my girls have got diamante collars now with the exception of Gypsy. Uh, I haven't got hers yet. Hers is a bit more expensive because she's such a big dog. Oh, let me turn around. There you go. Uh, yeah, she's a really big dog and um, her collar is going to cost a wee bit. Maddie's was expensive. Uh, and hers is half the size of Gypsy's, so Gypsy's going to have to wait because I've got things like vet fees and stuff to pay first and those take precedence. So she might get her collar for Christmas, I think. Um, Crow's was only £4, so <laughs> you know, that's not a major outlay. But um, obviously, um, being a big hefty dog, she needs to have a proper leather collar um, and I'd like it to match Maddie's. And they're a bit expensive, so I'm going to have to save up for that or use my Christmas money. Light's gone funny again. Nope, don't know what's going on with that. So yes, that was my day. Um, lots and lots of busy, busy, busy. And um, I got rained on several times, hence the hair. I've just got it stuck up in a clip. Because um, it's greasy now, because 
I got rained on in town, then I got rained on coming back from town, then I took the dogs out and I got rained on, then I sorted out the studio and then I took the dogs out again and I got rained on and then I went up the shop and did the weekly shopping and when I came out, guess what? I got rained on. <laughs> so my hair's a greasy mess now and I'm going to have to wash it before I go to bed. Um, <laughs> the things that happen. So, um, yeah, I haven't done any art today, but last night I did do this. Let me show you, if I can get it to pick up the colour. No, it's not picking up the colour properly. What's wrong with my camera? Ah, there we go. Now you can see it. Um, last night, Christy, Courtney and myself were messing around in Google Plus to see if we could, in the Hangouts, to see if we could use them and mess up the settings, which we did. Uh, we, we managed to lock ourselves out, <laughs> uh, managed to lock other people out, all sorts of things went wrong. But you know, that's what testing is for, isn't it? Um, and I just sat and did this in pastel and uh, Prismacolor. Um, and I, it's on orange camphored paper. And I was really pleased with how it came out, I just really liked it. Um, it just came together really easily. I was going to give her hair, but I decided I quite liked her just as she is, so uh, I think she'll go up on my wall as one of my pieces, my art pieces for my wall. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I was very pleased with her. I've got a, mm, what's it called, photo frame. <laughs> got a photo frame over there that she'll fit in so uh, I think that'd be quite nice to put her on the wall and I think that's it yes I think that's it for today I'm going to it's almost midnight <laughs> that's how that's how busy I've been today it's almost midnight um, so I'm going to quickly upload my vlog and then go to bed because I've got to be up early in the morning now um, more vets appointments with the girls and I've got to go into town, got to have my meeting, all that sort of thing. Ugh. Anyway, busy Friday. Um, I've, tomorrow I've got to finish off my inspiration board. I did get it started today but I've not finished it so and I don't really want to show you bits of it, I want to show you it all in one go. But for those of you in the class obviously. Um, <clears throat> I might put it up here for the rest of you. How to do a a quick DIY inspiration board. Um, we'll see how generous I'm feeling tomorrow, shall we? Uh, so yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna sneeze and I didn't. I yawned. Excuse me. I'm going to quickly sort all my desk out and pop in the shower, dry my hair, go to bed because I'm really tired. And onwards and upwards tomorrow. Bye.